I wanted to make a video there's really no videos on YouTube about this and I had questions and um, did a lot of reading but this is an APM 2.8 now in the eBay listing for this board um, they showed pictures of the back of the board um, soldering the p pads and jumping them to use the external compass um, on the 2.8 you don't have to solder um, the pads. The pads are there um, to select what you want the I2C port, which is right there next to the reset button. The pads are there to um, decide what you want to do with that. That used to be the mag port, um, but because it was so far away from the GPS port and the wires, um, the wires had to be split. Um, they actually had relocated it to directly below the GPS port so now you can plug your compass um, I'm sorry your GPS into the GPS port and your mag ma magnometer um, or your compass into the port directly beneath it and you need to remove the jumper that comes on the pin closest to the GPS plug there'll be a jumper and that jumper means that you're if it's in you're going to use the um, internal APM 2.8 compass and if it's out that means you selected to use the um, external compass and that compass uh, um, I used it internal for a little while but I noticed that once in a while I had in a return to home I, I was drifting in different directions and I assume that's because of all the uh, wiring around in the magnetic fields from batteries motors power module BC so I chose to um, um, not use the internal compass, use the external compass. You still have to go into Mission Planner and select external compass and calibrate it. But I did want to put a video on that tells people um, the I2C port um, you can use for the compass, but um, you'd have to solder the pads in back and jump them out. Um, but why do that when you have the mag port available right below the GPS port? So hopefully that helps somebody because um, I could have used it when I was configuring